Hey DIYers, Jarrett with Alarm Grid here. Today we're going to be discussing how you would find the firmware revision for the Honeywell Lynx Touch systems. Now you can find the firmware revision by checking the tools menu or the test menu, my apologies, within the master tools menu of the system. Uh, once you do so, then you would be able to see the firmware revision at the top of the screen. Now, <clears throat> it is very important uh, to check the firmware revision for the Lynx touch panels because uh, the firmware revision itself is very important to the system, especially if you wanted to use certain panel features um, or even certain accessories with the system, the firmware revision um, does come into play with that aspect. So one of the examples as to why you want to check it, um, if you did want to use or upgrade to an LTE communicator for the system, uh, the firmware revision for the L5210 and the L7000 would need to be on firmware version 9 or higher. Um, now the other reason as to why you would want to check that, that, that firmware is to obviously ensure the longevity of the alarm system as well. Because as you already know, um, devices that are on a lower firmware version may not work as well as they would with the newer firmware version. So it's always good to update the system every now and then uh, to make sure that you are getting the new features um, and everything with that new firmware update. Now, um, the L5210 and the L7000 systems, those are the only Lynx touch panels that can use an LTE communicator. Um, now, the LTE communicator that's compatible with those systems is either the Honeywell L50, um, my apologies, the Honeywell LTE L57A, which is an AT&T LTE communicator, or a Honeywell LTE L57V, which is a Verizon LTE communicator. Now, if, if, you didn't have, uh, if you did have an L5210 or an L7000 and you did need to upgrade the firmware version, um, there is an updater tool that you can use. It's called the Honeywell Lynx Touch MSD Updater Tool. Um, this device would allow you to update the system locally um, by just take, opening up the panel. And there's a specific way of how you can do so. Um, there is no option to be able to update the firmware over the air anymore. Uh, so you can't call up your company and have them just push a firmware update to the Lynx Touch. You have to use the updater tool now. Um, now the L5210 or the L7000 or the L5210 and the L7000, those are the only Lynx Touch panels that can receive a new firmware update. Um, so if you had an L5200 or an L5100, even an L5000, unfortunately you can't update the firmware for those systems anymore. So if you did end up um, needing new features or if you wanted to use an LTE communicator, you would be better off either replacing it with an L5210, an L7000, or even the Honeywell Lyric. So <clears throat> if you did want to check the firmware version of the Honeywell Lynx Touch, you're just gonna follow these simple steps. So at the main screen, uh, what you're going to do is you're going to tap security and then you're going to hit more and you're going to see that for tools. So you're going to tap tools and you're actually going to type in the master code. So the default master code is one, two, three, four. Now, um, as you'll see, you see the test. So if you just tap on that, it'll take you to the test menu and <clears throat> right here at the top of the screen, you will see the revision. So um, as you can see, REV 09.00209. So right now, our Honeywell Lynx Touch is on firmware version 9. So if we did want to use an LTE communicator, we certainly can. So um, once you have checked the firmware version, you can either hit the house button, the green house button at the bottom, take you all the way back to the main menu, or you can just hit the back arrow until you go all the way back to the main menu as well. And that is how you check the firmware revision on the Honeywell Lynx Touch systems. If you have any questions about the Honeywell Lynx Touch or alarm systems in general, please contact us at support at alarmgrid.com or go to our website, alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. If you want notifications of future videos, please click the bell icon. This is Jared with Alarm Grid. You have yourself a great day.